Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of r slash petty revenge. In today's episode. More pretty than petty revenge. Dad and niece refuse to change show despite knowing full well it's screwing with my internet. How to deal with a breakup. Not mine, but my buddies. Wanna help with the project, sure. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. More pretty than petty revenge. I was working in a busy urban deli during lunch rush on a Friday. One guy decided that with his turn he would gesture for me to come closer so only I could hear and say to me, could I have a deli worker with nothing on it? I stepped back a few feet, pointed at him, and announced to everyone waiting in line, oh. My. Gosh do you all want to know what this person just ordered? He ordered a deli worker with nothing on it. Isn't that funny, he's funny isn't he? We all had a moment as he slunk away. Dad and niece refuse to change show despite knowing full well it's screwing with my internet. I know the title sounds like I'm a piece of sh asterisk t, and to be honest I still might be wrong here, but I think it is still funny. Back backstory, I'm 15, and I play high school esports, and play in tournaments from home from time to time, where my internet is not the best. My niece, 7, was staying at our house for the night, and my dad loves being the grandpa that spoils her. Story story, this Saturday, I was participating in a tournament with my team, that required me to play from home, instead of at the school, where we usually play for better internet. I informed this to my parents, and knowing my niece would demand to watch TV, asked them to turn on a movie rather than a show. My niece is a power hog, and said, I'm going to watch what I want, which is typical for seven-year-olds so nothing out of the ordinary. I ask my dad to do something about it, and sit down to start my tournament. About one minute into the first game I start lagging really hard, and it gets super annoying to the point of frustration, and after conceding the game-winning point due to my severe lag, I stand up to confront my dad, and niece about it. Turns out, she had to watch a show that was two minutes PR episode. Now, my internet is half decent sometimes, and when the TV is on, every time an episode is changed, the internet goes nuts for everybody in the house for about two minutes after. So the fact that the episode changed every two minutes, meant I was constantly getting tossed around the map at extremely high rates and pretty much throwing my team in a 2v3. Asked somewhat frustrated if they would change the show to something longer, because my internet was going crazy because of it. My niece turned into a goblin and yells at me because she gets to watch whatever she wants. Then my dad says, whine about it, what are you going to do about it, leave her be. Knowing full well I was in a tournament, I thought this was rather unwarranted, and I went back to play the next game, elimination game, with garbage ping. We end up losing and in an act of frustration, I tell my dad that because she can't watch a different show we lost that tournament, and he responds, cry about it, there's nothing you can do. The gears in my head start turning. After losing, I turned off my computer, and stormed off in a huff. Moments later, I remember that I have hundreds of GB of data to upload to the cloud, that would require more bandwidth to my computer, and make the rest of the house's internet, go crazy, including the TV. I suddenly forgot the sadness of losing the tournament, and logged back onto my computer, and instantly started uploading the data. Moments later, I hear the TV freeze, and realize that now they can't do anything about the internet being bad, and it's going to remain that way until the upload is done, and the upload is going at about 6 MB per second. Edit, 
I'm going to address some things. First, my dad is actually a fantastic father and grandfather, he just has his low moments like the rest of us. He loves to spoil his granddaughter, and it makes sense. Second, my niece is generally misbehavioral around school, and her parents do a great job of keeping her in line at home. However, she knows rules are different around the house at other homes, especially her dad's parents, where she can cry to get anything. She knows how to get what she wants, and she just tries to exploit it a little much. Third, because I feel like some people are wondering, the game I play is Rocket League, and yes high school esports is a thing. The usernames you might find in my profile are alt accounts designed to get more drops and items, RL players would know, and my actual rank is in between C3, GC1 for those who care. Fourth, my internet just sucks no matter what, and my dad works from home so I kinda get screwed over with that, and we don't have anything to upgrade to, until we get fiber optic internet installed. How to deal with a breakup. Not mine, but my buddies. Story time. I, I was in a long distance relationship once a bunch of times. Wait. What? Anyways, one girl I dated, I'd fly her to Houston or I'd fly there. Every time I flew her to Houston I'd bump her up to first class for free food, free booze, and more comfort etc. She had never flown first class prior to dating me so I got extra bonus points. It was only like a $60 fee to upgrade each way and she got very used to it. No biggie. Fast forward to her last trip and the night before she was scheduled to fly home she called things off between us. Broke up with me. Okay no problem. It happens. The next day I drove her to the airport and sent her on her way. I got a text from her shortly after. Her, oh it's like that huh? Me, what do you mean? Her, I'm in coach, not first class. Me, you called things off. The extra benefits go along with it. You're lucky I didn't send you home on a Greyhound bus. Yeah. So anyways. Me being the kind, thoughtful person that I am, once she broke up with me I changed her seat so that she'd sit in the back row, middle seat. That doesn't recline. I still get a chuckle thinking about it. Smiley face. So. Life tip. Never break up with someone when you're 2,000 miles from home and the person you're breaking up with controls how you get home. LOL. Wanna help with the project, sure. I'm a senior in college, our college has a work-study program where you can work at a paid internship for college credit, the one I worked at was a software developer. Both me and my friend take it because we thought it'd be good practice for our career path. During the later part of spring semester and over the summer, we noticed that six other students from our school went there too, among them was an old bully we had in middle and high school, he didn't physically attack people or anything but he was always talking about how much money his dad has and giving people mean nicknames. Most everyone in our school ignored him for the most part which he completely detests to the point of purposely provoking people to get a reaction. The internship mostly had us practice code, test and analyze software, debugging, etc. Most of us are doing great but of course the bully, let's call him John, is bragging about how his dad helped him get the internship and how he doesn't have student loans because he's not broke. The internship was like five, six months, but it only took one month for all the students to hate him and ignore him, we had explained to the other interns about how he bothered us in middle and high school and how we ignored him, 
he got mad at everyone but knew he couldn't show out as he'd be fired so he just had an attitude with us during the internship. Which wasn't so bad until he tried to order us around and had to be told off by our supervisor for acting like he's our boss. This seemed to calm him down a bit but not by much as he still thought he was better than us and acted as such. Cue the petty revenge. On the last month, our supervisor recognized our hard work and allows some of us to help with a small software project, not much but beggars can't be choosers, only four of us were allowed to assist, me, my friend, and two random students, but John was pissed he wasn't picked and kept bugging me and my friend to let him join us in one of our meeting with one of the overseers, that's what they called someone that's working on the project, at a cafe so me and my friend decided to play a joke on him. We convince her to let him join us and we agree to carpool there, she drives and John raced to get in the front seat so we had to sit in the back, during the ride John was basically badmouthing us and pumping himself up saying stuff like, unlike them, I'm very gifted in programming and real passionate about it, or, don't worry if they don't understand I'll take the time to explain it to them, like that in the car for roughly 20 minutes. He looked back a few times to see if we were mad but we, didn't even care we were talking about anime and video games and like I said he hates being ignored so when we go to the cafe he is a little red in the face, while the overseer was in line ordering our coffees and we were at the table, he was, quiet screaming, about how we better not make him look bad and how we need to give him our undivided attention, we're basically like, yeah yeah, whatever, while we check our phones and he looks ready to burst. you couldn't tell by now we were doing this on purpose because we know how he is, he absolutely hates being ignored or treated like he's not important so we invited him just to piss him off by actively ignoring him, I didn't mention this earlier but we convinced her to allow him to join us by saying he only wanted to observe and wouldn't be participating, so he really wasn't important to the meeting. When we finally get into the project, the three of us more or less ignore him, especially when he rudely interrupts someone to get his two cents in, and by the end of it he's completely pissed and yells that me and my friend are too unprofessional to help with the project and says it's complete the asterisk 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 t that we were chosen but he wasn't. The overseer was calm but looked him in the eye and said, we're leaving now, in a serious tone, like your mom when you've seriously messed up, on the drive back she blew up at him for how he's the one that's unprofessional and how we were kind enough to let him join despite his attitude. Bro looked like a child getting told off by his mom and by the end of it she told him that the meeting was being recorded and she's already sent the recording to our supervisor and he looked like he wanted to. Die. After the internship I found out his dad was embarrassed at how he acted and I haven't seen him so far this semester so I think he might be grounded. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will see you in the next video.